Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to discuss why I choose not to use tags, but instead use lists. And it's all coming up next. Okay, guys, this is going to be another short video here on your digital makeover, but I do want to kind of go over why I do not use tags for the most part, but rather I stick with lists. So let me explain what I'm talking about. So if you are a tick tick user, you know that when you create a uh, task inside of here. So let's say purchase groceries that you can put it into a list or you can also add a tag now if you watched any of my other videos you know that i do typically use tags but i don't use tags completely in fact Let's take a look at how many tags I have. I have quite a few, right? You're like, well, you apparently use tags. Yeah, I don't. They're there. I don't ever use them. I used to um, a while back, but they got unruly, um, just out of whack. Um, but typically, I do use tags in only one instance. And that is for errands. If I'm going to run an errand and I want to be able to pull it up quickly on my mobile device, I have a errands for today filter that I click on. And so with that, I'll use uh, errands as a tag. And sometimes I'll add a store um, along with it, like errands. Uh, then I'll add Lowe's as the tag. If I have, uh, you know, different um, uh, errands that I'm going to be running. Uh, but for the most part, I don't use tags. I really don't. I, I have in the past when I was with Todoist, and it just got so overwhelming. I had so many tags. I was like, what tag is for what? What am I doing? I just couldn't come up with a context. And I try to follow other people that, uh, you know, did tags and stuff like that. It just was too overwhelming, and I see no really purpose of it. I was spending more time trying to create a crafty way of doing tags and keeping up with a system on tags that... I didn't get nothing done. I spent more time trying to manage my to-do list than getting anything done. And it was just driving me nuts. So now all I do is I just put my item that I've created in the inbox into a container. And I don't ever really even go in these containers. It's just a dropping off point so I can get to inbox zero. And that's the only purpose that I have for lists. I want it out of my inbox. And by the way, if you have tags, um, you can't get rid of um, your item that's in the inbox just with tags. You have to put it in, in a container or a list uh, to get rid of it. So I do want to kind of just get everything out of my inbox. So I dump everything, do a little brain dump in the inbox, get it out of my head, and then I move it into uh, the inbox. And whenever I do my weekly or daily planning and when, when, you know put a due date on and everything like that, but unless it's an errand, I don't ever worry about it. So what I'm getting at is that I really find it a little bit easier if I have less to worry about when I'm creating my to-do list and more on structuring my items or whatever I'm putting in my to-do list manager. If I can just focus more on the content rather than another system inside of a system so i created my own system where i just create the task put it uh out of the inbox uh, by putting it in a list just dumping it off don't ever go to the list all you stay is on the today view or the calendar view and i just put it in that list it's there it's gone poof i don't even think about it no more especially with my recurring tasks and then of course i put a date on it and that's what I focus on. In fact, in another episode, we'll go over, I don't even use flags. Yeah, what? You don't use flags? Nope. Because in my system, 
I'm putting it on my calendar, and so therefore it has to get done. So, I don't really need a flag. In fact, I don't even think flags even show up being flagged on a calendar. But I'll go into that in another episode. But I just want to kind of give you all an idea of why I just don't use them. Um, plus, you know, I got to go down here, go to tags, go and put it on there. I just don't do it. The only time I use tags is only on errands that I run because I have a filter set up for errands for today that I can click on really quick and see what's, you know, my errands for the day. So I'm not like, you know, gee, I know I had to go to Lowe's. Did I have to go to Walmart too? What was I supposed to pick up there? You know, just so I have everything in one general area. But other than that, that's really all I use it for. Now, that's not saying that you can't use tags. I mean, maybe there's something else in your life. Maybe you got some college classes and you want, uh, a, you know, like a filter for uh, the things that you're doing all on college campus that day, right? I mean, you can do it for any of those things. It's just for me personally, I do not use tags. I have no need for tags except for just a little bit that I use it on just for errands and stuff like that. But other than that, I really have no reason for it. So hopefully that uh, explains that, clears it up for you all. Uh, I'm not saying tags are bad. I mean, there's a lot of people out there love tags. I just got so overwhelmed with it, especially when I was with Todoist, that I just, I just don't have any use for it anymore, uh, except for, like I say, errands. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions concerning this and want a little bit more clarification, just drop me a... Uh, a comment down there in the comment section and also like always if you like this video and you got value out of it please click that like button down below it does help our channel grow and also if you want to see more of these videos in the upcoming future by all means click that subscribe button and the notification bell just so you can get notified of some new videos that are coming out and with that being said i want to wish you all a wonderful week and i'll catch you in the next episode take care